And it just feels crucial to be able to move from reactivity to care because under any anger or distress we feel, there's always something we care about. And by coming home to caring, then we get to be part of the healing. We can speak and act from love. So whatever, it doesn't matter what affiliation we have, that capacity to wake up our own heart and mind moves us from us, them, to we. It moves us to the compassion that includes everyone in our heart, that, that, that we can engage on the behalf of all beings. Friends, there's, there's just no power in this world like humans acting together from love. It's the greatest force. Martin Luther King said it, it's soul force. So in that spirit, I'd like to be part of the opening of this is uh, a short reflection. So wherever you are, if you let yourself come into stillness, if you close your eyes or lower your gaze, and just begin to attend to the inflow, outflow of the breath, collecting your attention. You might sense what wants to let go a little and with the out-breath, relax and let go. Maybe the shoulders softening, softening the hands. And let there be an openness to the chest, belly soft so that you can feel this breath and this body filled with awareness. This breathing body present right here. And from presence, just to let your attention include what's unfolding in our world right now. What brings you here? And just notice what feelings arise, saying yes to them, letting them be here. It might be anxiety or distress or something different. Keep deepening attention. If you'd like to put your hand on your heart, put your hand on your heart, but listen. Just sense what your heart most cares about, longs for. And if your hand's on your heart, let the touch be tender, really receptive. What do you care about? And then just taking a moment to widen the attention and sense all those who are here thousands and thousands on Zoom, live streaming, and all those everywhere around the globe who care deeply about this living world. That we're together in caring, belonging to something larger. And now you might inquire, what is love asking from me right now? How can I serve? What is love asking for me? It's a powerful inquiry, now, ongoingly. The world we long for is possible. We help create it every moment we replace fear and anger with caring and replace isolation with acting together. 